Put on your phone. So that way you can check the comments too. Okay. Am I live though? Yeah, should be. Yes, sir. And we are live. Get the fuck out of here. I better wait. Hey, wait. <laughs> Uh, I'm on the Facebook app and I'm trying to. Oh shit, sorry. How would I see? I gotta get on the regular Facebook. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, your regular Facebook. Oh, I don't even think I have. A, I don't even know if I have the regular Mark Zuckerberg with the FA. Ni modo. You gonna, you're gonna have to tell me the comments. <laughs> if not, I gotta download the Facebook app. What's up, Miguel? Oh, it sounds real good. Miguel's checking us out. What's up, my boy Cleo? How you doing, brother? Long, 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 long time. You were like probably yeah, like you were probably like twelve years old last time I saw you. Tall. You were like this tall. Yeah, it was my my homeboy's little brother. Uh, yeah, shout out to Erica. What's up, Erica? Jorge Galvin. A ver, aquí tengo the Facebook app. Okay, look. Here's the Facebook app. Can you show me? Uh, we're trying to see if I'm shadow banned or not. It is Mojado Monday. We're coming at you live. I'm about to reveal what's in the new snack box. The new snack box just came out. It just came out. Corpito's in the house. This is your phone, sir. Cool. Mira, that's your phone. And then I don't know if you can pull it up on my hand. We will be revealing. Y'all like my background, first of all. We're going to have to do the Pledge of Allegiance, y'all. All right, class. Come on now. We got to do the Pledge of Allegiance. We got to do show and tell. Oh, yeah, look, I can see the comments big. Man, do I shout out your studio, bro? Is it open yes, to the public? What's, what's the name of the studio? Uh, so, Compound Film Studios, 720 Russell Street. Compound Film Studios. That's where we broadcast and live, man. Parece pinche. Like, I'm Johnny Canales right now. Pom, pom. Compound Film Studios, 720 yeah. Rusk. Downtown Houston. Downtown Houston, but don't come right now. We got we got Secret Service out there. Uh, we got Tampa, Florida is in the house watching us right now. Beautiful Tampa, Florida. My boy Miguel's watching. What up, Miguel? They do a whole thing like that. Do it in the voice. Do the whole thing. No, you can't force it. You only do it sometimes, brother. Get the fuck out of here, man. Canelo. Uh, Belen says she loves the background. That's why she put the USA flag. We are coming at you live. I heard I'm gonna eat some super spicy wings right now. I heard. You guys are going to help us pick what we about to Uber Eats right now. I don't know, we finna DoorDash right now, but I'm hungry right now. And you guys, let me know in the comments. Uh, there's a restaurant downstairs, and the open sign was lit. The neon, it said open. Motherfucker was closed. What part of the game is that? Your, your Instagram is official chain of right? Simon, yeah, my Instagram is official chingle bling. Where I am also shadow banned. I am also shadow banned on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, big tech censorship is here. How you gonna have over a million followers on Facebook? But you know what? I, I'm not. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to reveal. We have a brand new addition to the chingle bling cereal. Shout out to my boy Frank, man. He worked hard on this project behind the scenes. The first chingle bling snack box we dropped. Sold out within woo minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Facts. Big facts. They had it on eBay. People, people, lo pusieron en, la, en el altar, güey. Pusieron velas, veladoras, un chingo de un santito, güey, un tequila chat, un cigar, chingo de mota, una línea de ivermectin. Chinga su madre. Uh, shout out to everybody came to my my shows. They weren't sold out, but they were pretty packed. And it was during the week, so I appreciate it, man. It was uh, Ontario. Uh, I forget where I'm coming from, but I know recently I did Phoenix, Ontario, Oxnard. When you come to oh, yeah, yeah. My boy uh, Junior De La Cruz is saying, when you coming to El Paso again? The El Paso shows were lit because that was a weekend. That was next level, man. Unbelievable. But uh, shout out to everybody that bought the first edition of the Snack Box. As you can see, esta es la edición de chocolate, güey. It's blue, so the green thing. <laughs> oh, that looks dope. Pinche hologram way. <laughs> Alien technology. Uh, shout out to everybody in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. D-Town, I am coming. I'll see you not this weekend, but the next weekend. Uh, tickets on my website, chinglebean.com. I will be at the Addison Improv. Sus! I just want to make sure I'm not canceled. Uh, tickets at chinglebean.com. Uh, Addison Improv. A-D-D. Oh, Addison. Yeah, A-D-D-I-S-O-N. Improv. 
Uh, let's see some of these comments, man. I just want to give y'all time to gather around because we're going to do a show and tell. Uh, somebody said, I'm going to show y'all the first Bitcoin ATM. Se mira me pesada, wey, but I want to bring it over here like R2-D2. Because uh, I know a lot of y'all into the crypto game. A lot of y'all that listen to my podcast, y'all been talking about getting gold bars. Not gold chains, a gold bar. But hey, if you listen to my podcast, you already know all about that. You said when is that show again? Here, I'll tell you right now. Uh, Addison Improv, I will be there October 7th through the 10th. 10-7 through 10-10. Shout out to everybody in San Antonio that came to our taping. We just filmed for HBO. You guys were amazing. We did two sold-out shows in, at the Lila Cockrell Theater. Pinche Teatro E. I felt like I'm Flans, fool. I came out with this hat right here, number one. Um, they fed us real good. Shout out to HBO, man. Oh yeah, but can you, uh, what happened with that? What's that about? Or what, what, what is that? Where is that okay. Or what is that? So San Antonio, Texas, they had the High Comedy Festival. The High Comedy Festival just went down in San Antonio. Super packed, super lit. Um, it's gonna be on HBO. I did a set. I did a comedy set. If you have not seen my stand up, you're missing out. And if you saw it early on in my career, I apologize. But guess what? Guess what? We got practice now, so we good. Uh, shout out to Robert Tera. Tera? Tera? Garza. Uh, what, what comedians did you see up, up there? Or did you talk to anybody? Yeah, man. I met Paul Rodriguez, brother. Paul, the legend. Paul Rodriguez, the legend. Ese güey también es Patriot, güey. Ese güey es puro pinche America first. No te, si no, queta, güey. Y si no, queta. Hey, güey, ¿conoces a queta? Get the fuck out of here. Are y'all going to watch the Canelo fight? Yes or no? Somebody let me know something. Immokalee, Florida. Shout out, Chingo. What's up, Don? Jose Angel Salas Jr. Veronica Hernandez says, Mactown in the house. Mactown, is that McAllen? Good question. I don't know. I'm 42. I don't know the new slang. But um, McAllen, Texas, I heard they got it looking like Lil Haiti down there. I heard we got another 10,000 Haitian folks. Shout out to all the Haitians. I'm not mad at y'all. Y'all got invited. Y'all trying to get all the free shit they giving y'all. Want to show them the cereal? Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. Because y'all have be very, be, been very patient. Samantha says she got her tickets for San Antonio. Thank you, Samantha. So, I want you to feast your eyes. Is this the final of everything we're putting in here? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, the, the cereal is, yeah. Well, the cereal is. Yes. First of all, first of all, I'm about to eat this beef jerky right here. Brother Earl's beef jerky <laughs> goes super hard. I don't know. Somebody, I don't know whose box this is, whoever bought it. But as I get, buy your two box incomplete, compare. Uh, my daughter loves these, Duvalin, so these also will not make it to your box. I'm gonna put them in my pocket. Uh, shout out to Primo's Michelada Mix. When we did Chingo de Mayo, we wanted to give you, the fans an amazing cumbia experience at a brewery, a Houston owned and run, Eighth Wonder Brewery. It was amazing. Man, how many people were there? There were so many people there. And we had a michilada contest, all right? I think Bo Bundy drank all the michilada oh. mix, but uh, Primo's michilada mix was the winner. And look at this, man. Not only did they win, but bro, they be on a business shit. All their packaging is amazing. We got to give them props. We need sound effects right now. Primo's michilada mix. They even have these individual servings. How amazing is that? Para toda la raza. Simón, compadre. Para toda la raza que les gusta un chocolate mazapán, güey. This may not make it to your box. So far, everything I pulled out, I want to consume right now. This is about to turn into a mukbang. And then, you got to be gentle with your lady's heart, man. Treat it like a, a mazapán. Don't be like, don't be like... Don't be like Biden and everything you touch, you crumble. So don't do that. Uh, yeah, shout out Brother Earl's Beef Jerky. Bueno, chingo de dulces, güey. Un chingo de dulces, güey. Pero sabes que, I know y'all want to see the nitty gritty. The party botanero mix. I'm hungry right now. And y'all haven't told me what I should order right now or if I should just uh, wait till I get home to eat. En la casa de comida, that's also an option. These look delicious. Who wants to see this cereal? Dun, dun. Bro, the best part is the back of the box. 
<laughs> I don't even know. Bro, I, you know what? We need to post that picture. We need to post that picture at the back. That, that's gonna be viral. Well, I'm kind of shadow banned, so I don't know how vi viral, viral, they're gonna allow us to be. But can I please show y'all the puzzle? Do y'all remember when we used to grow up playing cereal? You know, you used to like play the cereal box. You didn't just eat the cereal box, you played the cereal box. It always had a dope ass puzzle on the back. I don't know what they got these days, but check out, bro. It got trompas on there, bro. <laughs> How genius, man. Frank came up with this. Can you zoom in with this? He said, you're going to follow the puzzle, right? But you got to say, you got to help Trump fix the border. Look what he says. Sorry, the focus, y'all. Can you help me fix the border? And look, you got, the, you got the migra on one side. And then you got kids in cages, bro. Kids from all over the world. You should have put some Haitian kids. That, that should be, right. It should be way more diverse right there because we went from kids in cages to people up under bridges. We got people up under bridges now. Del Rio, Texas, man. We're praying for the people out there that are in a humanitarian crisis. But that is neither here nor there. I just want to show y'all. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of the whole project. Do, not, not the do way. Oh, people are harming it. <laughs> if you go to snackbox.club, you can order your box. Because how, how many did we make? A hundred. We're only making a hundred. I'm out of focus again, my bad. It's only a hundred. It's only a hundred. I feel like I'm on QVC. I feel like Mike Lindell slanging pillows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right now. Y'all, I'm reading his book. Bro, have you read that? Have you heard of his book? Mike Lindell's book? Oh, I think you meant It's called From Crackhead to CEO. What the fuck? Bro, he, when he gets hooked on crack, he has some adventures where you just be stressed out. You'd be like, he was like, man, I owe my bookie uh, this many thousands of dollars. I was trying to get the patent for the pillow and I owe somebody for the patent. What the like he was, he was going through it. And um, it make you never want to do drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Un pinche, un pinche saludo pa Camargo, Tamaulipas, carnal. Que Ahí hay chingo de haitianos también. He's watching from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Puro Angel Bautista Mendez. Felix the Cat, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, Nebraska in the house. What up, what up, what up? Uh, and as you can see, we got... I'll open up the box so they can see what the inside looks like. So oh. Outside the uh, interior so they can see if the real shit is. Last time you had a mixtape in there. Yeah, right? I had an album in there last time. Um, the Ooh. You know what? It's a collector's item. Don't even open it. <laughs> Why would you open it? <laughs> don't eat it. Why would you open it? I mean, you could eat it, but don't. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah, I don't okay. know if it's going to be worth the same amount. It's though. like the forbidden apple. So let me ask you this. If somebody tries to sell these on eBay years after the fact, they'll get some money for them. How stale would that cereal be? Uh, it's closed. It'll be good. They'll last forever. So this is survival food. You know what I'm saying? It's like mixtapes. They'll, they'll live forever, you know? How many people we got watching? Oh, man, come on. I'm shadow banned. This is bullshit. Uh, so we have 101 likes so far. Uh, I'm and, hella shadow banned. Uh, there, it says 41 people watching. But yeah. But it could mean that they're watching it from their feed, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you got a lot of likes, though. Hey, fuck it. We're going to ride it till the wheels fall off. Uh, mm -hmm. Pinche Mark Zuckerberg, do you know Keta? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, why, why do you think uh, why do you think the shadow banning? Because it don't make no sense. I got a 1.5 million uh, subscribers, followers, and it's only 34 people on this bitch. So what you gonna do to that boy Zuckerberg when you see him? So hey, it's just, I'm gonna have to give him some money. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay him so we can run some ads and people can know we coming to Addison, Texas, uh, mm -hmm. October 7th through the 10th. Mm -hmm. But shout out to everybody that's already hitting it up right now. Snackbox.club is the website only a hundred snack boxes made if y'all don't hurry up i'm about to eat everything that's in here mm -hmm. and uh are we gonna do some uh can they expect some new skits from you oh yeah uh we're here at uh, compound films studios where as you can see we can knock out i want to do gaming let me just give a shout out to angel angel which angel oh angel what's going on people? angel you know angel no oh okay uh, saludos desde los Oh, Los Cal Oh, Carrie Lowe. What's up, Carrie? How's it going, brother? Carrie Lowe. I believe he's an ex expat that lives in uh, Los Cabos. 
How is everything in Los Cabos, Baja California? What is the vibe? Are people over this whole uh, Fauci shenanigan? Uh, I guess while you answer that, I guess uh, how's your how are your political views affecting you on the road? It's been love, bro. Uh, people want me to talk more shit. There's, you know, the show's funny, so you know if you make it out, you're gonna have a great time. Uh, so, do, do you think that your political views have affected your uh, your your money? Uh, no, what affected my money was the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't perform. <laughs> I had to look at the map, like where the red states at, mm -hmm. so I could so I could go work. Cause think about it though, because in the beginning, think about it. He said chingon. In the beginning, bro, when they first hit us with like the, with the news, yeah. when they were like, hey y'all, fourteen days, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, look, just sacrifice, bro. You just can't go to work. If you think about, I know a lot of people did raise hell. Where it's like, whoa, whoa, like my type of job, bro. 14 days, you know, it's like, okay, well, it's kind of like saying, like, if I have a gig or not or whatever, right? It's a little bit different for me, but but I wonder how some people took it. It's like, wait a minute, 14 days? Wait, you telling me I can't make no money? Like, I can't go to work? Oh, man, it's for your own good, bro. It's for your own good, okay? Because, we know, we got we in this together. And it's like, all right, but... Um, but we ain't. Yeah, because it's like, well, some people are essential, some people ain't. And it's like, okay, so how are some people supposed to feed their family? How are some people supposed to pay their rent mm. and mortgage or whatever? I mean, shit, groceries, gas. Now look at gas. Uh, George Hernandez says, H-Time, compa, Trump 2024. What's up, Jorge? Puro pinche patriot. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, what are you going to do if uh, Donald Trump runs and he doesn't win again? What, what is your next move? What do you do? Do you keep talking about it? What do you do? What's going on? Man, look, to me, bro, it don't, don't, fix it. to me, it don't even really have to, it doesn't have to be him necessarily. You know, we just need somebody that's America first, that's about the working class, and uh, has some good economic policy. Good economics, because that shit benefits everybody. You know, we like peace. Well, we don't like peace no more. Peace through, uh, what is it? Peace through strength. We don't like that no more. Uh, what's up, Pete Rodriguez? He said, Chicano Clothing Company. Sas, Kate. Bauman, what's up, Kate? How's it going? So yes, uh, we. If you're just now watching, you probably missed the back of the cereal box. You might have to wait till we're done, and go back and rewind it because I'm telling you, that puzzle on the back of that, it's really a. Frank, you outdid yourself. That's a work of art, because that's a political statement, bro. I, I did it because I know that. That was that's genius. How you feel. No, that was genius because he's like the little the little puzzle is like. Help me fix the border, meaning the border is broken. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, is it even an argument anymore, or are some people in denial? Yeah, you know the the, the good thing is uh, you just shouted out some good companies, and the good thing is that now that the link is out, now we're looking for sponsors that want to tag along on this second journey with us. Yeah, so the first time we did the snack box, it, it really exceeded my expectations. It sold out. Super fast, 100 boxes out the gate. It was ridiculous. Um, and so we had to back door with a number two, part two. And um, like I said, it's delicious, but you know, it's, it, it's just a fan experience. To me, it's more of like a collector's item, but uh, you know, it's only 100. Cool, well, I guess uh, yeah, the, the, the link is live and I already put it on this. Product. Yes, sir. Yeah, so for sure, if you want to sponsor it, hit us up, absolutely. Carrie Lowe, thank you for the correction. He said, no, I'm a patriot that lives in Mexico. No X about it. <laughs> for sure. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, any, any last words you want to put on there? Uh, you want to throw in your da Dallas show or what they can expect? Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. It is the Freedom of Speech Tour. We will be... Oh, you made me like black and white, huh? It's, it looks dope, though. Well, that's because you're wearing black and white. Uh, and uh, and I'm shooting it in log, so it takes a color. Away. Oh, okay. I don't know what the hell that is. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, so we will be at the Addison Improv. Man, we're there Thursday through Sunday. I'm the lick out on. You want it to work, you finna work. And we're taking the babysitter and my wife bringing the kids. So we got a whole Airbnb and I had to go buy like a luggage rack and we're shipping merch. Oh, for the car. Yeah, luggage rack because you know, you know the the, the SUV is big, but when you're bringing all kind of baby stuff, man, and the babysitter, 
Está cabrón. Saludos desde Dallas, Texas. Belén, what up, what up? Belén, Marisol. Spread the word. Guadalajara in the house. Uh, thank you for using your platform to enlighten and educate, especially Latinos. Almi, Amy, sorry, I ain't got my glasses. Amy Gonzalez, thank you so much for the comment. Mireles, Mireles Latigo, hi, how's the family? The family's great. Uh, the baby's about to be two months. Uh, Penny's, we took Penny to her first concert yesterday, the Belly Beto concert. Oh, that was cool. She's only three. It was sold out. Ton of kids. Belly Beto, bro, they, they were slanging little kids' masks for $25. Good, good. She was selling little belly dresses for $80. We're talking about dollars, not pesos. So she cleaned up. Uh, shout out to Belly Beto. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so seeing as that you say, you know, the, the borders are open, do you think that this is a good opportunity for more uh, uh, intellectual quality uh, characters, oh, future content or characters? Do you think that we're going to have more of that for the kids? Do you think it's a good thing in, in that aspect? That we're going to have more what? Uh, I guess... Um, intellectual characters? Uh, intellectual property. I don't know how to say it. Like more content like okay, that. Okay, content talking because about... Because it's Mexican, right? What is? That, that thing that you went to go see? Oh, the Belly Beto. Yeah. That's uh, Mexican, right? Yeah, but it's like kids. It's like a kid show. So, so what I'm saying is that if we have more Mexicans coming over, then we'll... That we'll but it ain't Mexicans coming, really. It's everybody else. <laughs> um, well, that's pretty cool, man. I don't know the exact statistics, but... $80 for a, a little dress, you said? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But they be bootlegging all her stuff. Oh, shit. Like, yeah. like for example, everywhere. Like, uh, Reynosa, like Mexico. Yeah, the Pulga. So, Penny has a, a belly battle dress. And she has two plush toys, like monitos. However, I don't know where her grandma got them from. <laughs> So I don't know if like uh, Belly saw it, she'd be like, oh, look at, look at her doll, Mira. Look at the doll she has. Where did you get it, mija? <laughs> I wonder if you could take something like that and then put it in a different country like China. Uh, oh, no, China. Like yeah, what? Like another country. And, and Belly Beto? With another language. Uh, I think, honestly, I think her shit pops in all Latin America for sure. But some of those little kid YouTubers, bro, have you seen that? The little kid YouTubers? like. Ryan's world and all them little kids, um, they translate them to like all kind of languages. Like it'd be in Vietnamese, uh, like Saudi Arabia, like all kind of languages, bro. Yeah. So think about it. Them little Russian kids, they sit there and do skits with the toys, but then that same skit turns into 10 different channels, like Portuguese, oh, true, true, true. and they just have it overdubbed. So they hire somebody that's like, oh, buenos dias. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that's the best way to, uh, I think that's the best way to do film now, especially if you want to secure your, your film to so where, you know, try to squeeze every profit out of it. Try to overdub it and get distribution in, in like another market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other territories. Yeah. Well, I guess so. We'll do uh, like one more minute and we're out here. <laughs> we'll move on to something else. Sure. Yeah, no worries. Uh, check out this question. Jorge Hernandez says, ¿Por qué el Biden está bien güey? You know what, bro? Like this live setting with this little background and stuff like this, it would be it would be cool to do. Um, I mean, I'm having fun. I know we ain't got like a ton of people in here, but this would be really cool. To, even if it's gaming or if it's Q and A or if it's like uh, like as you know how Snoop Dogg, chingue marihuana, le digo a mi vieja, babe, voy a Compound Films a hacer un pinche live. Y no estés chingando. ¿Y, ¿Y por qué te llevas vino? Porque soy hombre y voy a fumar marihuana en el man cave con mis camaradas. Porque vamos a jugar vi videojuegos. Yo y Joe Rogan. Porque yo soy camarada con Joe Rogan. ¿A poco la, la esposa de Joe Rogan le está diciendo, ¿Para dónde vas? Voy a fumar marihuana con mis camaradas, hombre. Uh, hey, with the control. Pues, ¿qué tienes, hombre? <laughs> Samantha, because says, what's your opinion on all the celebrities moving to Texas? Oh, 50 Cent, I saw that clip. Okay, good question, Samantha. Samantha said, even 50 Cent wants to leave NYC and come to Texas because of his <laughs> his homeboy's new plan. Hey, man, 50 Cent, if you were supposed to be so gangster and you were supposed to have some nuts because you love to talk shit, right? That's one thing I've always loved about 50, besides, besides the music and the business and all that. But you was willing to let your nuts hang so you could talk some shit. 
But then he walked walked it back. Remember when he first went viral? It was like, oh, Biden's tax tax plan sounds crazy. I'm out. Oh, he was like, right for New York. Do you remember that? Yeah. And people jumped on him, and then he was like, oh, sorry. Right? Like, oh, sorry. Then he like apologized and he like walked it back. Yeah, uh, I, I think he draw like a meme or something. He said I'm out or something. Yeah, but then after that, he was like. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, whatever, like, I'm going to stay out of it. And then they on 60% of your motherfucking income. Bro, they coming after the $600 transactions. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alex Cadena said this show is a go. They coming after, bro, they coming after Etsy. Damn, Etsy? Basically, if you're just a small business owner and you're doing these little small transactions, say you got to pay your babysitter over $600. Well, shit, now she's like, fuck, man, I got to report this shit because motherfucking Bobby Biden. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say to do nothing illegal, but can they just break it down and just be like, look, I'll pay you 400 and then I'll send you 200 Well, yeah, right, yeah, no, yeah, that's a good... Or, that's or a, do they still, they're like, nah, nah, it's a total of you need to just let us know. I don't know, bro, but they just hired like a, a gazillion IRS people. What the? They about to have buku IRS people. Because they got to find a way to fund all these trillions that they're uh, printing up. They're like, we got to get it from somewhere. They coming for your $600. <laughs> uh, Juan Bernardo was watching. Uh, Selly said, their agenda is to turn Texas blue and bring us down. Yeah, some cash. Si, no, el pinche cash. Man, you know all the rappers be holding up money like this? You holding up paper, bro. If inflation keeps going up, that, that ain't going to be the paper it's printed on. It's not going to be worth the paper it's printed on. If the dollar collapses, like right now, we're the uh, standard currency for the world. If a couple countries, I know it's difficult, I'm not an economics major, but like if somebody, if a couple countries say we're not using the dollar anymore as, uh, as the standard, that's like one of our biggest fucking exports, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, uh, that's when they go to war, right? Man, I don't even know. Phoenix, Arizona in the house. What to do? What to do? Uh, Puro pinche Phoenix. I was just there not too long ago. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, a lot of California people moving to Texas. And don't be with that anti-gun stuff over here, bro. That What kind of sense does that make? What you gonna do if somebody, if somebody kicks down the door to your house? What you finna do? Throw a snack box at them? What you gonna do? Crumble my sapan in their eyes? Ah, ah. Hit them with a pelon, pelon. Come on, pelon, pelon. Come on, say, wait. Uh, uh, put them in a Bret Hart sharpshooter. <laughs> you fucking put some of this damn chamoy in their eyes and shit. Andale, cabrón. Ah, puto. Teach you to mess with me. You broke into the wrong house, buddy. Ah. <laughs> Hit them with a leg drop. <laughs> what you gonna do? Throw some michelada mix in their eyes? Ah, puto. Fast, fast. Ah, ah, no puedo. And then your wife got to get the golf club because that shit's on her side of the bed. I have, I have heard old people, uh, they said old men at work call it money confetti. I've oh, heard that before. Old, money call, old people call it that? Oh, man. I already know what that means. Oh, look, Samantha Rico, good point. She said Chelsea Handler put 50 in his place. Leave it up to the white liberal to come tell a brown person or a black person how to think. Remember, y'all, y'all supposed to be Latinx right now. Y'all supposed to be Latinx. Uh, we need more time. Okay, I see a lot of comments now. What to do, Shreveport? Shreveport in the house. Yeah, Jack said put some hot sauce in the eye. Some uh, ask them to see how they feel about uh, some possible tamales in the future. Would anybody be interested in some tamales that would arrive at your door? I might have to show you the box. They arrive at your door, frozen. You let it thaw out. <laughs> and then, this, this is how I would recommend it, right? You got to let them thaw out, right? The way I recommend probably reheating some frozen tamales. Because if you're going to ship tamales out of state or out of the city, it got to be frozen. We can't ship you no hot tamales, fool. They got to be cooked and stuff and then frozen so they could be transferred to you quickly. Anyway, it's the, the way I would recommend it, thaw them out. Maybe take them out of the oca, hear me out. Get you some hot oil going, like get your little frying pan. No say wait, manteca, grease, you know, and put some oil up in there. Fry them bitches. 
What do you think? How common is that? Do people do that? Well, here's the thing. Normally, if you if you get some fresh tamales, right, and you buy them hot because you're local, let's say you put them in the fridge. You put them in your fridge, now you got leftovers. The next day for breakfast, most people probably put them on the, com on the comal or they microwave them, right? But we talking about frozen tamales, which thaw, you got to let them thaw. I guess you can put them on a comal, but they got to be all the way thawed out. I don't know. I just think fried them bitches. I don't know. I know this ain't QVC. I know QVC ain't never did no shit like that. Like, look, man, I know the package say, I know the package say, man, th let them thaw out, put it in the microwave, or put it on a comal. Fry them bitches. Can't you put them on like, uh, like a barbecue grill? A barbecue grill, like outside barbecue grill. Don't they do that? They'll get smoky. Oh, yeah. I guess you could. And the Man, they about to. Que es el público fuera? Who's that in the background? I hope I'm they can hear. Uh, I'm, I'm the other guy. Can they hear you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, my boy Frank is in the building. If you're just now watching, snackbox.club. Go pick up your box. It's only 100 made. The first time we dropped the snack box, it flew. They instantly sold out. They got them on eBay right now, if you don't believe me. And we just revealed... The, the chocolate churros. Chocolate churros. And the award-winning... It's huge. This is huge, okay? This is gonna save America. And make it great again. Papi Trompas needs your help. He needs he needs your help fixing the border. Help Papi Trompas go down to Del Rio. Man, y'all know how much sex trafficking, bro. Did you hear all the checkpoints were left open, unattended? Oh, what the hell? You know who's winning right now? Sex traffickers. That's who's winning right now. It's some it's so much shit going on, bro. Like you just be hearing like, damn, bro. One minute. One minute you be listening to my podcast like, damn, bro, they going after the Etsy people, six hundred dollars. And then the next minute you be like, damn, bro, they firing the nurses from New York. Now they got to bring in National Guard. Did you hear about that? Uh, a little bit. What type of shit is that? Anyway, I'm forty two. That's the type of shit I be fucking stressing about. Um, I know young people like, man, I don't give a fuck. Oh, somebody, uh, they, they're actually talking about the, uh, I thought someone said, wait, quad grill. No. <laughs> no, not no fucking grill. Slow uh, Olga Isela, we might have to do some research and development and do a science experiment. Oh, Trust shit. the science, Olga. She said, steam them. So shit, now you re-steaming them. Hmm. That's how you made them in the first place. So what does that mean? It's, no, my mind is kind of blown. <laughs> Because I ain't never re-steamed tamales, but it kind of makes sense because you won't make them moist again. Oh. Make tamales moist again. Oh, shit. That's the slogan. Oh, shit. I think we do have a slogan. Are you tired of dry-ass tamales? <laughs> make them moist again. Are you tired of dry-ass tamales? I'm going to have to make, hey, man, the shirt. If the tamales don't sell, I know the shirt's going to sell. Make tamales <laughs> moist again. Make tamales meaty again. But you know which of my favorite tamales, though? Even the ones that we make, rajas con queso. Oh, rajas con queso so good, you slap your mom. They're delicious, bro. That cheese we use just got a taste to it. It is different. Hmm. Shit, we need to figure this out. That boy Frank said he's a chile expert. Oh, hell, man. I'm appalled. <laughs> he said he a chile expert. I'm gonna tear up just looking at it. Um... Trump. They said the next Trump rally needs a chingo bling catering. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> My mind is still blown about re-steaming your tamales. Hmm. But you know what though? Something. You know what though? The other day. Oh look, I can put them on screen. Oh nice, beautiful. Oh man, I like that. So look, check it out. The other day. I went into my freezer, right? And I pulled out some tamales. They had never been cooked. They were just prepared and then frozen. They had never been steamed. And then we thawed them bitches out. And then we, st well, we pretty much steamed them. We steamed them, so I guess it, it, actually we did thaw them overnight. We thawed them overnight in the fridge. 
The next day, my babysitter steamed them. But I ain't never re-steamed already been cooked, I'm honest. Hmm. My mind is blown. I think we, we just figured out we're, uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, put put a uh, patent on that. <laughs> hey man, you you gonna I don't know, bro. You gonna have to get on Photoshop, make uh, make the mind is moist again, and then boom, <laughs> when them bitches drop. <laughs> yeah, what if the bitches do go though? That would be crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to you off air about a motherfucking uh, a kitchen rental place. Oh yeah. Porque la otra trap house. La de Cise, me cayeron los pinches. Uh, Johnny Avalos says, hey bro, I'm quarantined, can't leave my house. Can you send some? Where do you live? Because we're discussing shipping out frozen tamales. Uh, somebody said, give Olga a, sh a shirt just for that. Olga, we need to do a science experiment, see if your, if your um, experiment even works. And you know, and, and you know, uh, and I guess now that we're talking uh, shit, may, maybe we will need some frozen tamales from somewhere. I have some. Okay. Well, I I think the ones that I have, I, I already ate all the ones that were frozen and cooked. Oh, okay, okay. I have some that are frozen and but raw. Oh, okay, cool. So. Like, yeah, they moist again and putting them on the floor. Make tamales moist again. I oh, said I have and it works. Oh look, here go, Olga Isela says. Yeah, they get moist again and put them on the final. I think she meant comal. Yeah. I have and it works. Come to Phoenix again and I'll show you. Promise it works. LOL. Shout out to Robert Goldoracena. Hey, she thinks we're on the radio and shit. <laughs> Shout out to Robert Goldoracena. I don't know, man. I don't speak the radio. I don't know about radio no more. Who even listens to the radio? Do you listen to the radio? No. I turned on 97.9 the other day. I had to put up with 15 minutes of, I just got hit. <laughs> I just got hit. I just got hit. Girl, you better call. I just got hit. I just got hit.com. That's true. Are they the only ones running commercials over there? <laughs> and the Shabbata Motors. Come get Shabbata tires. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny because it's true. I'm on a Mexican I just got radio. hit.com. I just got hit. <laughs> Yep, make the tamales moist again. Cool, man. I guess go ahead and wrap it up. All right, for sure. Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If y'all want us to do another live like this, I don't know what we'll do, like a show and tell. or Maybe you could eat something. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like... Well, what do you want them to eat? Hot sauces? What, like some crazy? Like what? Well, you know what? Uh, me and my boy Rob, we're supposed to do the hot wing challenge. Oh, shit. Um, which I don't even... Hey, like, look, I'll end it with this story. I'll end it with this story. In Houston, you ever been to Halal, guys? Uh, I think there's one right there. There's a few around this yeah. bitch. Uh, there's one on 59 that I always go to. All right, so look. There's a place called Halal, guys. It's originally from New York. It's basically like Middle Eastern, like uh, gyro on rice and yeah. with the white cream sauce. But the red sauce, they be telling you, do you want some hot sauce? And you tell them, yeah. And then you're supposed to just show them like, like this. Have you ever done that? Have you seen how hot it is? No. Nope. You just show them like the line of how big the line, how many, two lines? Bro, my wife, she asked for four lines, bro. And then the dude was like, you sure? And she said, yeah. So he said, foo, 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 foo. Then it was my turn. He said, how about you, sir? I was like, nah, just give me a little bit, like a little bitty, little bitty line. He's like, man, come on, bro. Your wife just ordered four lines. You can't just get a little bitty line. He, he just hit me with two. And it's that hot that it's like, bro, you know I could have you start this whole meal over. Mm. Like it's, like you're going to have, you're going to have some chapped lips and a runny nose. Oh, man. How'd it go? I mean, my nose was running. Well, how, how did she do? She's, she don't care. She likes that shit. Damn. If not, she don't, if not, she don't like her food. Damn. But she had a lot of nerve. If I'm not overheated, it don't work. She had a lot of nerve ordering four lines of the Halal Guys Chile. If you've been there, if you know, you know. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, shit, y'all let me know, man. Let me know if y'all want to do another uh, chit-chat hangout. If not, I'll do it for the patrons. Maybe they'll appreciate it. Uh, Snackbox.club, if you want to be one of the very lucky, special 100 people, only 100 people will be the legitimate owners. All right? Legit. Only 100 people going to have the legit. Some of y'all going to have the bootleg version. Sus.
Thank you guys. Good night. Yeah, we're hitting the road, man. We got Addison, Texas coming up. Shout out to the DF Dub. We only a few cities left. We have like Raleigh, North Carolina, Houston, San Antonio, and a few others. And we're working on Las Vegas. I'll announce it real soon. Sus.